you've done like what 200 plus races in your life and how many Ironmans oh. at this point but yeah I mean I think most athletes of your caliber sort of learn something new every race was there anything yeah. you took away absolutely I, I think um yeah exactly Kona will be my 50th Ironman I've probably done yeah just like you said T tons of halves on only one Olympic distance and actually what I'm about to tell you about what I learned this week I really need to learn before we go to high V here but um, never underestimate sort of the integrity and value of proper transitions and it's truly part of the swim bike run it's just um, little little hiccups can happen um, for me in Vineman for example I just could not get my shoes on right my feet were cold and how could I have solved that taken the five seconds to put socks on, which I didn't. And I learned. I probably won't do that unless I'm coming into T2 with, with someone else and you can't, you don't have the time, you know. Um, but I had the time. I actually caused myself more time by not putting socks on. <laughs> so you always learn. It doesn't even matter. You learn something new every race, especially uh, every, every full Ironman for sure. But um, recently, this week, it was transitions, how, how to fine-tune those. So are you waking up every day trying to put your shoes on quicker this week? or? Totally. I am practicing it, seriously, because if it, you know, it's gonna, it might happen again this coming weekend. And I need to, to use, you know, get those shoes on fast and not get them on, have to sit down, take them off. Everyone's looking at you like, hurry up. You gotta go. Heather's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be nerve wracking having everyone watch and transition as you're trying to deal with all that. Huh? Well, there's yeah, that pressure is more so like you look like an idiot right now, so you gotta hustle. Um, but I think if you, I've seen people be really frantic. I'm sure myself included. So I uh, before I enter, I kind of try to put myself in a very chi place and just keep calm, kind of carry on with it because. I mean, at the end of the day, it will save you a little bit of time that you could lose from, but if you don't, for me, if I don't have my little baggie of nutrition, that's going to affect me out on the course, so I make sure I have everything. And I learned this, this will help age groupers, don't over put stuff in transition because then it becomes too overwhelming when you're in the moment. I literally only put what I need, sunglasses, visor, and, well, socks, and then my nutri baggie of nutrition, and I'm out of there. No, no reading material or teddy bears or anything. Although you would think, though, that I sat down sometimes and read a full magazine, maybe <laughs> had some biscuits, but that's okay. We're learning. <laughs>